Welcome back, and thank you for joining me for the 2nd January 1942 term of the Deck Lapper versus Weir Way play by mail game. Should see, yes, landings at Chopang, landings at Mactasar, crossing into Singapore this turn. Of course, other unanticipated activities. Two special naval landing force units going into Copang. Railing, patrolling off truck which is a sniff of the KV task force, but doesn't cite carriers. But if he sees heavy cruiser Tone, he may suspect that's the carrier task force. Some Fabukis mopping up. Some PT boats out in the middle of the Java Sea, low on fuel. Sea Raven, ooh, finds a working Mark 14. Two working Mark 14s. The odds were in. Sea Raven's favor. It's, uh, and the empty transport goes down. S37 is at Palmbank. Trying to sink my transports that are offloading supplies. Looks like the sub chasers got a bead on S37 in the shallow water two penetrating hits already. S37 may be done for here. Not that I'm particularly sad about that. Yeah, another penetrating hit. Obvious, one of the obvious disadvantages of patrolling in ports. Once the escorts find you, it's uh, often game over. And she's forced to the surface. She's done for, obviously. Ooh, S-37 crippled. Puts a torpedo <laughs> and a deck pan shot into one of the transport cells. She went down fighting. I think the Japanese sailors would salute the bravery of the skipper and the crew of S-37.
he's got pretty good naval search still in the Java Sea, but and then around the Philippines, but little else. That he's softening up the enemy at Sorabaha for eventual attack there. Want them as disrupted and disabled as possible before we take Sorabaha. Lily's attacking Bataan. First time I've attacked Bataan. No escorts with the lilies. They're fast. Unless he has P40s there. Uh, they're going to get in and out pretty quick. His P40s, the few of them he has left, are down in Mindanao at the moment. And that was the first time I've hit Bataan, so I didn't expect him to be able to anticipate that. Could have gone badly for the little ice, but the risk was modest. I actually want to draw his fighters back to Manila, Clark, and Bataan. So we can finish them off. So these uh, unpredictable but unescorted bombing strikes by the lilies, I hopefully will do that. Hmm. Kingfishers on cap. I don't think they have the ceiling to even get to the bombers. So they're just tangling with the Oscars who are in long range cap. Those are Oscar 1As. Probably not going to go well for the Kingfishers. Not to mention, I don't think they can actually even get to the bombers. We'll go ahead and advance through this. Purpose of the Sallies, of course, is to suppress fort building. Typical losses. So the Sallies were at 18,000 feet. Yeah, the Kingfishers were at their maximum altitude of 16,000 change, so they were never going to get to the Sallies. Well, these aren't going to fly lower than that. He, he should know because the flak losses get pretty high at Singapore. All I'm trying to do is do enough damage to suppress fort building. Lands slowing down movement of some of his Chinese remnants. It's a good rule of thumb. If you can't explain what the purpose of a bombing mission is, you probably shouldn't have launched it. Obviously, some explanations are stronger than others. Well, now let's see if anything exciting happens in the PM phase. Now the valves 
going after his shipping at Manila. He pulled them out of port, and now they're just sort of sitting in the Manila hex. Originally, I thought it was a cap trap, but cap over Manila has been very intermittent. Marblehead is already badly damaged. So is Pope. Little Isabel will, I suspect, go down. So it might appear they were without escort. That's not actually the case. They had uh, zeros on long range cap, but because there was no enemy cap, they don't show up. I was anticipating that he might cap over his ships at Manila, but he didn't this turn. My expectation is the dive bombers and the unescorted lilies will entice him to send fighters back there. We'll see. Plunger operating off Bobble Dub. She's in deep water. Those Type 95s aren't going to touch her. Of course, she wasted four torpedoes on a World War One era destroyer. So. Transport from last turn, I think that one was, was crippled, went down. Maybe it was the one S-37 with the torpedo into earlier. Landing at Makassar. We'll see if we brought enough troops to the party. Just a single Special Naval Landing Force unit. Okay. Partisans in the Yellow River. More partisans. Getting close to being able to uh, attack again here. Again, we won't break through until we've depleted his supply. But you got to keep fighting. Okay, here's the main event. Let's see what he has. He's predicting about 350 AV with level 3 forts. Let's see how it comes out. Looks like the 27th Australian Brigade is his main combat unit. The 22nd was... Defeated at Mersing to its half strength. The rest are battalion sized units. Okay, let's cycle through and see what happens. The key issue is going to be how my losses are distributed amongst those divisions. I have two more divisions in reserve along with armor and artillery that will come across tomorrow. The reserve divisions uh, won't cross probably for a couple of days at least. Let's see. Oh, nice. So he started off 
with 504 AV, a bit higher than I expected. But not bad. Yeah, forts were three, reduced to two. There was, uh, weather has been really bad over Singapore. I went more than a week or so without being able to bomb successfully. 11 destroyed, which is fine. 280 disabled, which is okay. It'll be interesting to see the distribution of that. He's down, say, 175 AV. So he'll be down to about 325, maybe a bit higher, 350. Very good. Armor units, just trying to trip his uh, units at Palembang. I'll just run through this, see what happened. One destroyed tank, 35 disabled, probably light tank. 40 squads destroyed or disabled. That's good. So he'll be down under 200 AV. It'll land a division soon. But I'm not trying to take Palmbang right away. Just want to keep weakening him, keep disrupting him until we're ready to take it. When we've got the large airfields on northern Java suppressed or under our control. Cutting off Java, cutting Java in half here. Attack at Sorobaha, not intending to take it yet. Just continue to weaken his units to get to the point where we're disabling engineer squads. So you're seeing a few disabled engineer squads, which is good. He's bombarding. Okay, at Makassar, I probably, I don't have enough combat power, but I have a second echelon I can send in next turn. Copang, I'll have plenty of combat power. Allies wasting ammo in the north. And more ammo. Once I vacate this adjacent hex, I'll attack again. I won't attack again until I have this retreat path open. It's still taking me a little while to get this uncluttered so I can mop it up more easily. It isn't affecting my advantage any main axis. But it hasn't been an elegantly executed operation. I blame the staff. Okay, let's cycle through this. And take a look around. Starting with the Aleutians. 
So our task forces, we're going to reorganize and split and send one unit to Adak, one unit to Amchetka. Still no sign of the enemy. Again, our only coverage here is by Glenn. I can fly in in a turn or two. Mavis or Mavi, plural. Um, again, he's shown no sign of intervening in the Aleutians except uh, perhaps some movement of ships leaving Pearl. Uh, we're watching for that. Okay. The armor will catch up next turn and uh, route again uh, the remnants here. And this unit across the river is a remnant. So, um, you know, it's not clear that he's going to be able to hold this river line. Uh, recon suggests he doesn't have a lot of forces in here, but we're going to continue to look. Looks like the AVG is still in Chongqing. Now let's take a look at our divisions in Singapore. See what happened. Looks like 4th Division is only effective. The veteran 5th will be ready. Same with this 18th and the 33rd. So that's nice. Uh, even though their disruption and fatigue are quite high, only the fourth, the least experienced of those divisions, um, has any sort of really significant disruptions, disablements. Sorry, disablements. She's going to take a little while to um, get. Reinforcements coming. These guys are going to try to run the gauntlet past Marek. The Sundra straight out to reinforce Cocos Island. We're going to attack both north and south towards uh, his main base here, and armor will move south towards Sorvaha. We'll take Kopang next turn. I have to reinforce Makassar. I have tanks here. I can do that next turn. Deception plan. They're about to leave the marshals. Hopefully they'll be detected. About 12 hexes Johnson Island. And looks like the KB. Hmm. Sorry. Hmm. KB hasn't made port yet. Interesting. Circling around truck to come in from the south side. Uh, should have made it easily. They must have refueled. It's very low on fuel. Must have burnt ops points doing so. No sign of that, though. I'm guessing it had 
it occurred last turn and reset. Well, he should have, they only moved about two hexes. My units for reinforcing in the Southern Gilberts are just about loaded. Looks good. Let's take a quick look. Points, nothing significant changed here. S37 showing up as sunk. So it's Isabel. My two transports. Both Sally's to Flack. Catalina, Kingfisher, let's check. Allied, four, three. Nothing particularly important. No sign of transport losses on his side, so that's quite well. That was this second of January. The crossing into Singapore went well. Uh, he has a little more AV than my initial estimate. That's that's okay. His forts are where I expected them to be, and in uh, it'll probably be five six days uh, before we're ready to actually assault the main defenses at Singapore, but it won't be long now. So it's good, and look forward to our next chance to talk. Enjoy your evening.